Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. Welcome to my little parlor. The starting bet is $10,000. Let me deal you in. Ah, shit. I forgot to rig this game. Uh, you know, it kind of reminds me of this, this one game, though. Oh, yeah. Poker Night. Poker Night at the Inventory was developed by Telltale and released in 2010. This shit was the Smash Bros of poker. I can't say I've ever been enticed by the idea of playing celebrity poker, but... Uh, 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 you know, I'll, I'll explain this in the only way I know how to. In rap form. Wait, what What the fuck am I saying? Dropping bars, my name is heavy. Gamble bets and loses steady. Spend my money like I'm heady. Yeah, I'm all in. You don't know me, but they say that I'm bluffing. You know I ain't. Ah, your, your mama's calling. <coughs> <coughs> ah, Jesus, I, I was out of it for a second. The lineup was absolutely stacked. We had Max from the Sam & Max series, Strong Bad from Home Star Runner, The Heavy from TF2, and Tycho Brahe from Penny Arcade, each with their own unique personalities and playstyles. Max plays the game Risky, and I actually don't know if he even knows how to play. Strong Bad is over-aggressive and bets literally every turn. The Heavy only ever makes big man plays, and Tycho is a conservative little fuck that folds before he even sees the cards. I mean, other than that, it's just standard poker. You can unlock these cool tables that are really more of a garnish than anything, but the game was like $5, you aren't paying for rocket science. If you want a little bit more in-depth analysis, check out MyCon's video on it. It goes super in-depth and the complicated stuff about Poker Night, and honestly, it's really entertaining. Back to the characters, I know no one in the lineup technically has any similarities with anyone else, and you wouldn't really expect them to synergize well, but, but they do. <laughs> a lot of the conversation actually had me laughing my ass off at the pure level of absurdity that the topics get around to. Hippos, corpulent brigands, mm -hmm. nothing like their elegant, ungulate sisters. Oh, giraffes. Yeah. What? Huh? You know uh -huh. what I'm talking about? Those slender necks. Dude, what? Huh? Dude, so what? long and muscular. Bro. Just want to wrap your arms Bro. around them. Maybe your legs. <laughs> just to see what it feels like. Just want to get up there and sway in the wind. No? Is that not... okay. The characters also each have their own little unique way of collecting chips and leaving the table that really highlights their personalities. Say what you will about Telltale games, but this one's fucking amazing. Winning hand! Psych! Face! Whoop! Plomp! Hey look, I found the deck that isn't rigged. So, let's talk sequels. In 2013, Telltale released a sequel to Poker Night. Poker Night at the Inventory 2. Earth-shattering name, I know. The game featured essentially the same gameplay, with some extra bells, whistles, and most importantly, an all-star cast. Claptrap from the Borderlands, Brock Sampson from the Venture Brothers, Sam from Sam and Max, Ash from that one Evil Dead comic, and holy shit, GLaDOS is dealing. Poker Night 2 added bounties, and a little bit more variation to the Poker Night formula. You see, in the first iteration of Poker Night, after you've heard all of the conversation possible, it kinda gets a little dull. But in Poker Night 2, there are these extra modes that you can play, each with their own endings and quirks. And also items, which is kind of what most people play the game for. Although the sequel took what the first had and improved on it, I still think the synergy between the characters and the first was more natural, and probably why most people prefer the first to the second. I would tell you to go check them out for yourself, but they've both been taken off the Steam store. I don't know why, probably some bullshit with publishing rights, but I'm pissed about it. These games lured me in with their promise of free items and kept me trapped in that little box with some good-ass character interaction. So this last bit of the video is just going to be a message to the publishers if they ever see this. Dear Valve and Telltale, make a Poker Night 3, please. I, I want to play poker while I listen to some characters that shouldn't legally be in a room together. And at the very least, just put the other two back on the store. Like, I know rights and shit is hard to figure out, but depriving new gamers from experiencing a genre of game that, to be honest, isn't really done elsewhere is, is pretty lame, and I think you should bring it back. Sincerely, Crutchy. Oh yeah, I forgot, I have, a, I have a Patreon now. You want updates and sneak peeks and shit? Become a patron, please. I need money. Okay, bye!